Cardinals. Who is Corey? And Corey. Corey is interested in learning a little bit about crocodiles, like our friend Lyle Lyle Crocodile. That's right. Lyle is a crocodile. I have some facts here for you. We talked a little bit about crocodiles being reptiles. Crocodiles are reptiles. They are cold-blooded. That means that they have, that they need the sun to keep them warm. They don't stay warm on their own. They have dry scaly skin and a backbone and they have webbed feet. So in between their fingers, instead of being able to come down, they have webbing in between their fingers like you might see if you wore some flippers and those help them be really fast swimmers. They're really fast, but they're only fast for a very short amount of time. A lot of the times crocodiles be swimming along, swimming along. They're predators and they like to be quiet while their prey comes up and then snap. They jump up and they'll snap their, they'll eat their, they'll eat their food, which is they'll eat insects sometimes and small fish sometimes and maybe even some small animals. They have really good night vision. So at night they can see really, really well, and they have a really strong sense of smell. So they can smell and use their eyes and be quiet, and that's how they catch their dinner. They mostly live in Africa, but like we said, they're cold-blooded, so they have to live in waters that are warm. So they can be in Asia, they can be in North America, South America, and Australia. They like to be in that warm water. I like to be in that warm water too. <laughs> Believe it or not, you might think that crocodiles seem mean, but they're actually really good parents. That's right. So they're reptiles and they lay eggs. The mama crocodile will bury her eggs, a whole lot of them in the sand, but she doesn't leave them. They stay close by to protect the eggs and after about three months, when it's time for the eggs to hatch, the little babies put up a high, high little screech and high pitched sounds to let their parents know, we're ready to come out. The mama will dig them up, put them in her mouth, and take them out into the water. They're good parents. They have their children stay with them for two years. In those two years, they start their only about 12 inches long. That's how they, that's how big they are when they come out of their eggs. They grow about a foot the same size each year. They can grow up to over 16 feet long. That's really, really long. Maybe you can line up a ruler 16 times and see how long 16 feet is. It's pretty big. They also can be about 500 pounds and they live to be about 45 years old. So they'll be swimming around for a while. They are carnivores, so they even eat birds and they eat small animals and insects. Their jaws, the top part of their jaw and the bottom part of their jaw are the same size. That's why they clump, clump, clump. They have the strongest bite of all the animals, so they can really clench down. But the muscles in their jaw that open up their mouths is not very strong. There are some people who can even hold the mouth of a crocodile closed with just their hands. I don't suggest it. Don't try it out. They could bite you. Um, so they have been living for a really long time and they haven't changed very much. They've been around on Earth since about the time of the dinosaurs. So some people might call them living fossils. That's interesting. So now that we know so much, Corey 
was very happy to learn all those facts about crocodiles. I have something though. Crocodile is a big long word. I'm gonna write it out. It's C-R-O-C, -C, croc, O, croco, d, 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 dial. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters in crocodile. Do you know any words that might rhyme with crocodile? The part we're gonna rhyme with is the last part, the aisle. That's the end of the word. So we want words that are gonna sound the same as crocodile. Hmm, let's see. How about dial? Like dial a phone, crocodile, and dial. Crocodile and file. Have you ever heard somebody wants to file something? Like a piece of paper that's important? They might put it in a file. Let's see. Mmm. Mile. <laughs> That's almost like our friend Miles' name's name. Mile, that's kind of a, you can say, you can run about a mile somewhere. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Dial, file, mile, crocodile. Hmm. I'm looking to see if I wonder if there are any more. This one's spelled differently but it still sounds the same. Style, crocodile. Oh, I have another one. Nile. You might know there's a big river and I think they might even have some crocodiles in it in the Nile. Nile, crocodile. Those are just some rhyming words because you know I like to rhyme so much. Maybe we can think of other things like croc, what is rhymes with croc? Like flock, block, mop. So maybe you've got some rhyming words of your own. I have a little art project I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna turn the camera down a little bit. There's my little doggy sleeping away. We are going to make some paper plate crocodiles. To make the paper plate crocodiles, I had some plates that I painted green. I used this when I painted my egg carton. I mixed the paint. I put the paint on the on the paper plate. So I already had it kind of dirty and I just decided I'd use those plates. If you only have a piece of paper, you could color a piece of paper. You could use a marker or a crayon or maybe you just have green paper around, like construction paper. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut straight across the bottom. Now the plate is in half. So you can see right there, that's gonna be the bottom jaw. Here's the top, bottom and the top. So I want this to be kind of his face. So I'm going to, I might even draw it out so I can copy it. So it's one eye, another eye, a long nose, and then a little curve at the end. So there we go. I'm gonna do two humps, a long line, and then another little curve up. So let's see, I'm gonna cut along the line. It's okay if you don't cut exactly on the line. I don't, I don't always cut on the line either. I'm just put it there so that I could try and keep the stay. Sometimes it's easier when you can see what you're trying to look at. So there's the top of my crocodile. There he is. I guess I could have made him a little more symmetrical, but it's okay. I'm going to use a stapler. I'm just gonna 
staple those two together. Now I have the face. I'm going to now attach it to the body. So I am going to use my stapler again. And if you didn't have plates, you could just cut out a circle, just like that. So here's my crocodile mouth, my crocodile face, my crocodile body, and I'm gonna cut out a little curve. Now this time I'm not cutting straight across the bottom. I kind of cut in a curvy shape like that. And I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put it right over here on the back. And I'm gonna make that be my crocodile tail. Oops, I did it upside down. Let me see it this way. This way might be better. I kind of wanted, I want him to have a happy tail. There we go. So there we have it. Up, oh, our crocodile is missing some teeth. I have some white paper. I'm gonna just, maybe I'm going to just cut some triangles out. So a diagonal line and another diagonal line, diagonal line, another diagonal line. Diagonal line and another diagonal line. And I'm gonna cut a straight line across to cut out the other triangles. Now I have some teeth. So you could either glue these teeth on or maybe you wanna just keep using your stapler. I kinda like my stapler. So I'm gonna staple on some teeth. I didn't wanna wait for the glue to dry. So I'm gonna give him, or her, maybe it's a her. Maybe it's one of those mama crocodiles that takes care of her babies so nicely. She probably was teaching them how to catch some fish when, they swim, when they're swimming around, teaching them how to be really quiet so they can creep up and catch their food. Maybe she's teaching them how to play in the water. Oh. I'm gonna keep trying. I wanna give them the teeth. There's the second tooth on the bottom. Oh, my I guess you could also use tape. There we go. And the last one. So I kind of like that now it's got some teeth. So I'm looking at the picture and it looks like they have yellow eyes with a black stripe. So I'm going to take my scissor. I'm going to draw it because I like to draw on the line. I like to cut on the line. So I'm going to make two ovals, two curvy lines, just like that. And then I'm gonna use my scissor. Remember, thumbs up and use your helping hand. This, is, this sheet was kind of big and I didn't need it to be that big, so I kind of cut it smaller. So I'm gonna keep going around, trying my best to stay on lines, but you see, sometimes it's okay if you don't make, if you make a mistake. Hmm gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down and now I'm gonna put this part might be easier to tape it on or glue it on but I still have my stapler here so I'm gonna staple one eye and here's the other eye I can get it on there there's his other eye and then I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm just going to give him those lines. And there you have it, a little crocodile swimming through the water and chomping up and down. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's not quite the crocodile like Lyle. I don't know that my crocodile can stand on its head and do 
somersaults? Maybe it can. It would have to have to go, maybe it would go find Senor Valente and he would teach them how. Well, I hope you had fun with that craft and learning a little bit more about crocodiles. And maybe you've got some rhyming words that you're thinking of too. See you soon. Miss you.